Well, it's one of the scariest things that you can watch someone go through. It affects 300,000 people each and every year. Would you know what to do? John? John! John! Oh my God, what's happening, John? John! If someone had a seizure, would you know what to do? So seizures happen each and every day in this country, affect mm -hmm. a lot of folks. Yes, especially little kids. About 75,000 to 100,000 first-time seizures occur to children under the age of five. And actually, in my practice, I see them in obstetrics for women who have high blood pressure. There's a syndrome called eclampsia. They'll either have headaches or they'll have visual changes. They'll see spots, flashing lights. Maybe they'll feel dizzy. Um, these things often precede a seizure. And what people need to understand is if you if you see someone having a seizure, you can have these partial seizures where maybe it's one part of the, the body that's moving, and, and the patient will be cognizant of that. But a generalized seizure, the patient has no idea what's going on. So a lot of people, they don't know what to do. And I actually want a little help with this demo. Annika actually wrote into the show because she witnessed her sibling her sister, in fact, was going through a seizure. Annika didn't know what to do. And Annika, you'd like to know what you should do. So if, if you would, come on up here. Because if you've never seen one, you don't know how scary it can be. It's very scary. How are you? I'm good. How are you? How's your sister doing, by the way? Oh, good. Most seizures will take two or three minutes. And most of the time, they'll resolve on their own. But I'm going to do this just as a demonstration. So you come upon Dr. Sears here. He's, he's lost control. OK, so. <laughs> And that's and, and this is scary and, and mm -hmm. it is a really scary thing. What would you do? Would you would you take an object and put it in his mouth? No. 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 Absolutely uh, not. Right. <laughs> Little hint. Then I would try uh, to lift his head and. Absolutely. The number one thing you want to do, Annika, when you come upon someone is, you're not going to stop that seizure. You don't want to get down there and start putting things in their mouth. You want to protect them from danger while they're seizing. And so if it's a pillow, it's something to potentially cradle and soften their head because a violent seizure can cause head trauma. And the biggest thing is, Annika, you did the right thing, is a seizure most of the time will resolve on its own. But seizures that continue on five minutes plus, you know, oftentimes, they will need medic a, a right. patient who's having a seizure will need medications yeah. to break that cycle. So you'd want to call 911 in that instance if they're prolonged, or if it's a first-time seizure, or any time it's a pregnant woman, you're going to call 911. The one other thing you can do is check and see. Does someone who's having a seizure, do they have a medical bracelet? Because the, the bracelet might give you an idea as to what's going on. Well, Annika, thank you very much thank for you. coming up and demonstrating.